All right, g'day guys. So now I'm going to be running you through Hero Lab uh, with a bit of a tutorial on how to install and configure the D&D 5th Edition Community Pack. Uh, for anyone new to Hero Lab, the D&D uh, 5th Edition Community Pack is designed to fill the gaps in the uh, SRD content. Uh, so what that basically means is when you buy the 5th Edition SRD Pack from Lone Wolf, it's going to come with just the SRD content because that's legally all Lone Wolf is able to provide. Um, the community have filled the gaps in the SRD so that you, obviously you've got a, a full character uh, creation options within the tool. Uh, it's also going to add in some extra options like Unearthed Ankana and um, some Homebrew and some popular third party as well. Alright, so let's jump over and have a look. Alright, you can see in front of me I've basically got the, uh, the Lone Wolf development forums open. Alright, and where you want to go down is to the D&D 5th edition SRD subforum. All right, and from there you should be able to see the a sticky uh, with the D&D Fifth Edition Community Pack. All right, now there are full instructions here on how to use this and a bit of an FAQ about it. Um, this link here uh, will open up this page, which is some uh, basically a picture version of what I'm doing now. I will add this video link in here as well, so you guys can watch that. But what you're actually after here is this URL. All right, you want to grab a copy of this onto your clipboard. And then we're going to jump down and open up Hero Lab. All right, here's uh, the D&D Fifth Edition uh, version. You can see I've got two. Please ignore the second one. That's for my uh, community pack editing purposes. Um, and we're going to basically come in here, click this option, and click down here and go Find Updates. All right. Now in here, we're going to need to add source. All right, I'm just going to delete this just so you can see exactly what it looks like. We go add source, click new source, and this is where we paste that link we got before. All right, so this link here is coming from here. You copy that straight in and you click OK. Click OK, and then it basically says, look, your updates have already been retrieved. And it'll be loaded next time you start Hero Labs. So we click OK, we click finished, and we exit. And then we click it again, and we start it up again. All right, now this time when we click Find Updates, we come down here to D&D 5th Edition Community Pack, and we click Download. All right, here we can go Start Import. Import was successful, click Finished, and now we can come in here and click Load. All right, this is the first page where obviously you create your character, and this is one where you really need to pay attention. Most people come in here, um, and I'll just turn the game defaults on. Most people come in here and start working here. So hero name, and your name, and they click OK, and then basically they start creating their characters. All right, they come through, and you can see they've got the basic options here from the player handbook. Um, and they get through to the backgrounds and they go, oh, I've only got the Acolyte. All right, if you've only got the Acolyte, you've done something wrong. So let's go back. We've got a new portfolio just to bring it up again. And you'll see here, and I'll, I'll do this again. Okay, yours should look like this. All right, and you want to change that because this down the options here is the community pack. All right, and you've got to turn on your options. Turn on all the ones that you want. You don't have to turn them all on. That's completely up to you. I'm just going to turn them all on for the sake of showing you. As you can see, there is quite a bit in here. We have been busy. All right, so once you've clicked the ones that you want and the ones that you think you're going to use a lot, I would recommend clicking Set Defaults. All right, this way, the next time you come back in, it's already done for you. All right, here we can go hero name. We'll click OK. And now when we go choose race, you'll see a whole heap of new options. All right, when we go classes, you should see some new options, including the alchemist, uh, the ranger from the unearthed arcana, blood hunter. All right, and when you go background, you should see a host of new options. Alright, so it's pretty simple. 
Now, one thing you might be asking is, I've already created a character without the community pack, how do I turn it on? Uh, from every character, you need to go into character and configure hero. And here you can actually come in and enable or disable specific options for that character. Uh, this can be handy if you've turned on too many options and you want to disable some for that character. Like, so maybe your DM comes along and says, look, that, that third party spell book that you guys have got turned on, I don't want to use that. You can actually then come in here and go, character, configure hero, find it in the list, uh, and turn it off. All right, now then restrict the options that you can use when obviously you're using the tool. All right, so that's pretty simple. Um, installing it and using it. Uh, I've got other videos on how to make uh, a character if you want to watch those. One thing I will state though, this is community created content. Um, it, it's created by the community in our free time, so it's not going to be perfect. There are occasional bugs. Um, or you might have uh, something that you want if, if you want us to create it for you. Or maybe you've actually gone ahead and um, created something and you want to share it with the community. You can do that. All right, so come along over to the D&D 5th Edition community page. All right, now from here, if you go down into our uh, notes here, all right, you'll see a no and issue list. All right, that opens up the issues on the GitHub that we use. Or you can see here, click here to report a new issue. All right, and that is how you contact us. All right, don't rely on the forums, guys. If you come along to the forums and say, hey, guys, I found this bug. Yes, some of us are going to see it, but we're probably going to see it while we're at work. We're more likely to uh, address your issue if you come here and actually uh, come and open up a task or a ticket, and we can basically respond to you that way and track the, uh, the issue and make sure it gets fixed for you. All right, so that's pretty much all there is, guys. Um, I hope, you, uh, hope this makes it a little bit easier for you guys to use. Um, if you've got any questions, obviously ask them in the comments or uh, come and uh, contact us in the forums. Uh, but apart from that, guys, have a great night.